Welcome, Welcome back, back dragons. dragons! I'm Ben. And I'm Atreus. And, and this, this is Dragon, Dragon News. News. Valentine's Day is coming around the corner, and Bioscience is having a Valentine's Day themed Spirit Week. Be ready because the Spirit Week will be happening from February 14th through the 17th. Tuesday, Valentine's Day is first day, dress to impress day, while Wednesday is dress as your type. Thursday is Teddy Bear Day and Friday is Cupid Day, so wear red, pink, and white. I know what I'm gonna wear. Do you, Ben? Kind of, but hey, since Cupid Day is coming up, you gonna ask anyone out? Uh, not this year. I have to focus on school. Oh, really? Um, are you sure it's not because of This the... just in. Some of you may have noticed a sale for Baygrams. BSU will sell Baygrams till the 13th, so buy some before they're out. And while you wait to build up confidence for Valentine's Day, show your safe side with the new Rock the Belt activity by NHS. Take a selfie in a parked car with your seatbelt on and post it on social media with hashtag Rock the Belt and hashtag BSHS freshmen, sophomores, or juniors, etc. I know we'll all be safe, but I can't wait to see the latest voice's voice. Take it away, Miss Voice. Hello, dragons. Uh, I'm super excited to be talking to you today. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about um, a buzzword that we hear all the time, which is self-care. Um, but as we get into the spring semester, it comes with a lot of things like testing, preparing for graduation if you're a senior, um, finalizing your coursework. Uh, so it can be a stressful time. Uh, so I want all of you to really think about what are the things that you're doing that bring you joy, that take you away a little bit from academics and um, just help recenter you and recharge you in exciting ways and um, help you to relax. It's really important to have that established now before we get into our big testing season, um, before academics really pick up for the second semester. So I encourage you to be thinking about what is it that brings you joy and helps you to relax and recharge. We have things on campus that can do that for you. We have support groups, we have clubs, we have different activities that you can be a part of. Um, and then you can also find those things outside of school too. Um, and if you wanna have help from us to think about what are those things um, that you could explore, you could reach out to any one of us, to me, to your teachers, to any of the staff, um, and I'm sure your friends as well. Uh, we are gonna get into um, testing soon. Spring semester always brings um, testing, whether we like it or not. Uh, so at every grade level, there will be some testing, and we'll post the testing calendar for you all so that you can anticipate it. But before that, I really want you all to have a really good self-care routine um, that helps you feel good about yourself um, and feel strong and recharged and energy uh, so that as we navigate through the second semester, you're feeling really good um, and ready to take on whatever it comes at you. And of course, you have the support of bioscience behind you um, to navigate it with. Uh, I, I wish you all a great week, and uh, go Dragons! Thank you, Miss Boyce. Hey, bioscience, do you participate in a cultural art form such as ballet folklorico or taiko drumming? Sign up to share your art during our upcoming culture week. All you need to do is fill out this form on the Bioscience Virtual Campus Teams page. Our big cultural celebration won't be until after spring break, but it sounds like it's going to be fun. I went to the play Petty for your thoughts, and I thought it was amazing. I know, it really was. Congratulations, Theater Club, for the awesome play. Now we're going to hand it over to Ethan with our very first Civic segment, a partnership between Dragon News and BioVotes. Take it away! Hello, Hello Bioscience. Bioscience. I'm Emmy, a representative of BioVotes. And I'm Emily, president of BioVotes, and this is Civic Segment. During Civic Segment, we'll bring you fun facts about what's currently going on in our government and break it down for you. Hey Emmy, did you know that same-sex marriage is now protected in all of these states thanks to a new bill that just passed? Really? That's amazing, but I thought we already had a same-sex marriage law. Well, this is different. Let me explain. According to Rutgers University, same-sex marriage became very illegal after the Obergefell v. Hodge court gates in 2015. However, it wasn't a law passed by the legislators. Some rights are given by the Supreme Court when it decides what is and isn't constitutional. But as we've seen recently, the Supreme Court can change its mind and reverse court cases at any time. 
That's why the U.S. Congress passed the Respect for Marriage Act, which now formally protects same-sex marriage and interracial marriage. Oh, I see. This certainly is a win for the LGBTQ plus community. And more rights for more people is always a good thing. In fact, 70% of Americans have said in a recent poll by Gallup that they think same-sex marriage should be protected by law. That's right. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have today. We hope you learned something. Tune in next time for another Dragon News Civic segment. Brought to you by Bible to give you Friday starting lunch in Miss Funny Shop Street, 3 West. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Thanks, Ethan. Be a Leader Club also has a lot of activities going on, which are great if you want to set yourself up for success after graduation. They sound really cool too. They've got a classroom visit to either ASU or U of A, to sit in a real college class, a visit to the College Depot, and a Aguilar informational session. Plus, Be a Leader offers cool summer programs for students who want to stay on top of high school and college success. If you're interested in participating, all bio students are welcome to attend. Meetings are Mondays after school in Ms. Reyes' room. Also known as the 2 West Learning Studio. Look at us rocking the lingo. Your books are still available for pre-order, but are running out quickly. So buy one today with Miss Gonzalez so you don't miss out. Your books are only $33 to see your favorite classmates. Oh, okay there, Ben. Chess Club held a tournament recently. Ben, do you know who outmoved their opponents? Yes, I do. And the winner of the chess tournament is, drumroll please, Christopher Ledisma. Finally, Publications is holding another third quarter poetry contest. This quarter, the theme is New Beginnings. Write a poem with that theme and send it to Dragon Publications, BHS at gmail.com by Friday, March 3rd for your chance to win. Well, here's a poem for you. Roses are red, once they've been thrown, this is the end of our episode. What do you think? I'll just say you seem to miss the part about the theme being New Beginnings, and I'll leave it at that. Okay, I'll keep writing. Until, Until next, next time, time, dragons. dragons. Wait, Ethan. Let's go back and start again with thinking. Okay. Okay. Right. Think or play folklorical taiko drumming or oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Um, Try doing ballet folklorical or.